Nestled high amidst the awe-inspiring peaks of the Himalayas, Tibet emerges as a realm where spirituality, culture, and breathtaking landscapes converge. For centuries, this mystical land has been home to a unique lineage of warriors known as the Campus. Celebrated for their exceptional martial prowess, unwavering spirit, and profound connection to their land, the Kampa warriors have etched an indelible mark on Tibet's history. Through the treacherous terrains and amidst turbulent times, their legendary tales resonate as a testament to the enduring power of honor, courage, and resilience. Join us as we embark on a journey through the fabled past of Tibet's legendary Kampa warriors, uncovering the traditions that have left an indomitable legacy on the roof of the world. Tibet, nestled high in the Himalayas, has a rich and storied history, with a significant part of its cultural heritage tied to its warrior traditions. Among the various warrior groups, the Kampa warriors stand out as legendary figures known for their bravery, skill, and resilience. The Kampas, also known as Kamba or Kams, are an ethnic group primarily residing in the eastern Tibetan plateau. Throughout history, they have played a crucial role in defending Tibet's borders, fending off invaders, and safeguarding their unique way of life. The Kampas warrior traditions were forged in the harsh and rugged terrain of the Tibetan plateau, where survival often depended on physical prowess and martial skills. One of the defining characteristics of the Kampa warriors was their horse-riding abilities. Horses have been integral to Tibetan culture for centuries, serving as essential companions for transportation, herding, and warfare. The Kampas were exceptional horsemen, skilled in both riding and horse archery. They could wield their bows with great precision even while riding at full gallop, making them formidable opponents in battle. The Kampa warriors were not a unified army, but rather a loose collection of clans and tribes, each with its own distinctive martial traditions and leadership. However, in times of external threats or larger conflicts, they would unite under a common cause, displaying a remarkable sense of solidarity and cohesion. Perhaps the most famous episode in Kampa warrior history was their resistance against Chinese forces during the invasion of Tibet in the 1950s. As the People's Liberation Army advanced into Tibet, the Kampas fiercely resisted the occupation, waging a guerrilla war against the Chinese troops. Their intimate knowledge of the treacherous terrain and their skill in hit-and-run tactics allowed them to hold off much larger forces. The campus commitment to their culture and way of life was so profound that many of them chose to engage in self-immolation as a form of protest against the Chinese occupation. This act of sacrifice demonstrated their unwavering spirit and their determination to defend their land and beliefs. Apart from their military prowess, the campus were also renowned for their spiritual practices. Many of them were deeply devoted to Tibetan Buddhism, and their spirituality often intertwined with their martial ethos. Warriors would seek the blessings of Buddhist monks and lamas before embarking on important missions, believing that it would grant them divine protection and guidance. Today, while the traditional warrior lifestyle has largely faded away, the legacy of the Kampa warriors endures in the hearts of the Tibetan people. Their courage, resilience, and determination in the face of adversity continue to inspire future generations to preserve their cultural heritage and stand up for their beliefs. The Kampa warriors of Tibet were legendary figures known for their exceptional horse riding skills, archery prowess, and fierce defense of their homeland. Their history is a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Tibetan people and their deep connection to their land and culture. Their legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of preserving and honoring ancient warrior traditions and the values they represent.